Come on, y'all be better than that. We make a lot of noise in the game. We make a lot of noise when we go out. We can't make a lot of noise to get people to go home. We can't make a lot of noise to stop the desperation. Now, let's keep it simple. You see, incarceration affects more than just the individual. Oftentimes, we think about the incarcerated man, the incarcerated woman, the incarcerated teen, but we forget about the incarcerated family. Because the reality is, if you incarcerate one, you incarcerate an entire family. Children have to come to prison to see parents. So what are we doing? We're setting up an ideal that how it's okay to be in prison because I got to go see daddy in prison. We have families who are lying about where my son is, where my daughter is. Why? Because the stigma says, I can't tell anybody. I'll give you a prime example. 12 years, 3 months, 26 days. My mother told two people I was wrong. Why? Because she couldn't tell anybody. The reality is, this has to stop. When do we stop the incarceration? When do we stop the talking? When do we stop saying, I want to say simple, you can't leave here today and do nothing else. You can't walk away today and say, I came, I saw, I left. We have to continue to fight. We have to continue to push. We have to go until it's done. Change doesn't happen when we look. Change happens when we fight. Change happens when we say, we will not stop until something happens. Someone said to me, listen, you keep pushing. You know what push means? He said, pray until something happens. We're not tired. You want to pray? But guess what? It's time to push. It's time to work. It's time to gather together and move. Who's ready to work?